The Kali or Kilo Ampere Linear Injector is a linear electron accelerator being developed in India by the Defense Research and Development Organization DRDO, and Baba Atomic Research Center BARC. It is a directed energy weapon designed to work in such a way that if an enemy missile is launched towards India, it will quickly emit powerful pulses of relativistic electron beam and destroy the target. Experts point out that it can potentially be used as a beam weapon. Bursts of microwaves packed with gigawatts of power produced by this machine when aimed at enemy missiles and aircraft will cripple the electronic system and computer chips and bring them down right away. Kali is India's answer to any uninvited incoming enemy satellites, UAVs, missiles and aircraft. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how India would fry Pakistani and Chinese missiles and aircrafts with a secret weapon, Kali. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel. But what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It is available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The Kali project was first mooted in 1985 and work on the project began in 1989, being developed by the Accelerators and Pulse Power Division of the BARC. DRDO is also involved with this project. It was initially developed for industrial applications, although defense applications became clearer later. The first accelerators had a power of about 0.4 gigawatts, which increased as later versions were developed. These were the Kali 80, Kali 200, Kali 1000, Kali 5000 and Kali 10000. The Kali 5000 was commissioned for use in late 2004. The power of Kali 10,000 has been kept under wraps. It is unclear if India has developed even more powerful versions or not. Kali is a particle accelerator. It emits powerful pulses of electrons, relativistic electron beams (REB). Other components in the machine down the line convert the electron energy into EM radiation which can be adjusted to X-ray as flash X-rays or microwave, high-power microwave frequencies. The Kali series, Kali 80, 200, 1000, 5000 and 10,000 of accelerators are described as single-shot pulsed gigawatt electron accelerators. They are single-shot devices using water-filled capacitors to build the energy charge. The discharge is in the range of 1 gigawatts Initially starting with 0.4 gigawatt power, present accelerators are able to reach 40 gigawatts, pulse times about 60 nanoseconds. The microwave radiations emitted by the Kali 5000 are in the 3 to 5 gigahertz range. Kali 5000 system is designed to produce electron pulses of about 100 nanoseconds with an energy of about 1 mega electron volt, currently 40 kiloamperes and a power of 40 gigawatts. The relativistic electron beams REB, thus generated will be used for the generation of high-power microwaves HPM, and flash X-rays FXR. The DRDO is involved in configuring the Kali for its use and has been deployed in various scenarios. The X-rays emitted are being used in ballistics research as an illuminator for ultra-high-speed photography by the Terminal Ballistics Research Institute TBRI. Microwave emissions are used for EM research. The microwave-producing version of Kali has also been used by the DRDO scientists for testing the vulnerability of the electronic systems 
of India's indigenously developed light combat aircraft LCA, which was then under development. It's also helped in designing electrostatic shields to harden light combat aircraft and missiles from microwave attack by the enemy, as well as protecting satellites against deadly electromagnetic impulses EMI, generated by nuclear weapons and other cosmic disturbances which could destroy electronic circuits. Viewers may note that electronic components currently used in missiles can withstand fields of approximately 300 volt centimeters while the fields in case of EMI attack reach thousands of volt centimeters. The characteristic of the Kali gives it the potential to be used as a weapon. Kali could be deployed as a high-powered microwave gun which would destroy incoming missiles and aircraft through the soft kill approach. It may be integrated with powerful radar systems that will track enemy crafts. However, weaponizing such a system has many obstacles to overcome. Indian authorities have been tight-lipped regarding this. Since secrecy has been maintained about the system, many experts think that the system has already been weaponized. Viewers may note that, in general, the most advanced systems are kept well guarded. The main advantages of Kali are as follows. 1. Low cost per shot as each firing of the weapon requires only the minimal cost of generating the energetic pulse. By contrast, ordnance for projectile weapons must be designed, manufactured, handled, transported, and maintained. 2. Another important aspect is that ships and planes can carry a fixed number of projectile-based weapons as they take up space, so they can take out only those number of targets at max, but Kali can be used repeatedly. Three. According to independent analysts, the Kali could be even deadlier than laser weapons as it could be more apt in penetrating external surfaces of incoming projectiles. India has no first use of nuclear weapons policy, hence it needs a defensive system to thwart a preemptive strike by its enemy. This is where Kali could be most well utilized. India is planning to have an integrated air defense weapon system IADWS, to protect the important cities of the country starting with the capital of India, New Delhi. The proposed multi-layer arrangement will consist of the following. 1. The outermost layer of the missile shield will consist of a two-tier ballistic missile defense BMD, system developed by India's state-run DRDO or Defense Research and Development Organization. The two-tiered BMD system consists of the PAD Prithvi Air Defense, which will intercept missiles at exo-atmospheric altitudes of 50 to 80 kilometers or 31 to 50 miles, and the AAD Advanced Air Defense missile for an interception at endo-atmospheric altitudes of up to 30 kilometers or 19 miles. The BMD system uses the Swordfish radar. Swordfish is an Indian Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, long-range tracking radar specifically developed to track ballistic missiles. It can spot objects as small as a cricket ball, 3 inches in diameter, at ranges of up to 500 miles or 800 kilometers. As per reports, the process is going on to increase the range of radar to around 950 miles or 1,500 kilometers. The middle layer will be the Russian-made S-400 system. S-400 Triumph is an anti-aircraft weapon system developed by Russia's Almaz Central Design Bureau in the 1990s as an upgrade to the S-300 family. It's been in service with the Russian Armed Forces since 2007. It's designed to defend against aircraft including fifth-generation stealth fighters, bombers, AWACS, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. The radars of S-400 have a range of around 600 kilometers or around 370 miles. The main radar is complemented by target acquisition radars, some of which are touted to have the ability to detect stealth aircraft. S-400 deploys multiple missions to cover its strike envelope and can hit targets at a range of up to 400 kilometers or 250 miles. India's inked a deal with Russia to get five regiments of S-400. The contract is worth 5.5 billion US dollars. The delivery is expected to commence by the end of this year. 3. 
The innermost layer of protection will be through NASMS 2, which it's acquiring from the US. It's likely that a system like Kali will be added to this kind of layered defense system to protect important infrastructure and strategic assets. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.